It is showtime, episode 100 of The Brink of Sanity. Uh, we're going to try and do something that we're probably going to regret, but, probably. you know, <laughs> yeah, we're definitely going to regret it, but we'll give it a try and we'll see what happens. We are, since it's the 100th episode, we're going to do Century Club, which is one shot of beer every minute for an hour. So for, no, for 100 minutes. So uh, we're going to die before the It would be worse, actually, ends. if we did it all in an hour. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. Well, uh, all right. Before I introduce everyone, let's all just do our first one and start the timer just to Wait, get right. the ball rolling. Pass, pass, pass. Wait. All right. Yeah. So, uh, 100 episodes. Ready? Cheers. Go. 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 Cheers. All right. So, I'm just going to go around. All the way from uh, Scotland, we got Stephen Cliff from the Stephen Cliff Show. How you doing, guys? Great glad, to be here. Uh, glad you can make it. What, hey. what insane time is it over there now? Uh, it's quarter past 12 at night. Oh, you're a trooper. That's insane. Yeah, you're a trooper. I have a question, actually, before we even get the timer. I, we, I know we just started doing the timer. Yeah. Are we gonna, is it going to reset every time, or are we going to go to 100 minutes? No, it's going to go to 100 minutes. minutes. Okay, perfect. Okay. okay. Good. Because, uh, yeah, that would be, <laughs> That'd be that's bad. a good be like, trying to count the time. Yeah, okay. So um, we have Mark. How are you hey. doing, Mark? Uh, Mark's a regular here, so you should probably know him. We have uh, Jason. Hi. Uh, first time here since episode 40. It's been a while. 40? 40, wow. yeah. It's the best episode, by the way. And, uh, oh, I got a message from Sexy we have, we, Search. We have another shot coming up <laughs> real right now. And from uh, three episodes ago, we got, oh, we got to do a shot? Wait, wait, wait. Five, four, three, <laughs> two, one. Shoot. Uh, and all the way from... Best show um, idea ever. <laughs> Harlem, we got Zach. From second about, episode. Yeah. Second episode on, three episodes ago, I think you were. All the way from Harlem. Did you fly in? <laughs> he ran. He got chased. <laughs> That's the only way to get here from Harlem, is to get chased. Are you familiar with Harlem, Stephen? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've, I've heard about See, it. See, word about that shithole gets all the way to Scotland. <laughs> Have you heard of Astoria? <laughs> no. Astoria? Yeah. Yeah, that's where we're recording from now. Awesome. Yeah. We're actually doing the show, which I think is interesting. It's the podcast room is also the room where Jay sleeps, so which I find interesting because we're gonna throw up on his room. Better. Yeah, I got I got a series of buckets around the room just in case, but you know who knows what's gonna happen. We oh. should have definitely had like a bet on it. Who's gonna throw up first? Like it's not too late. Well, you know, I tried doing this. Okay, shot, 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 shot. Just, shot. Jesus Christ! I tried doing this back in college, and um, it was actually me and Bry. And we Where's tried. Bry this week? We Bry just bailed uh, at six fifty nine. That's some bullshit. So yeah, we both tried to go for a hundred. I made it ninety one, and Bry made it ninety seven minutes. And neither of us, in our heyday of drinking, never made it. That's pretty bad not to make the last three minutes. Yeah, well, he also threw up about five times, which is why I say I'm still a champ because I didn't throw up. <laughs> I don't but, know if either one of you are a champ. I think that we, day. we calculated it's <laughs> going to be true. about a, it's going to be about ten beers and. Uh, an hour and 40 minutes yeah something like that it's gonna be rough so anyway. like in like since like we're like a, uh, I graduated college I guess it would be uh, like 10 years ago would it be uh, like 70 years in like post college years I think so yeah <laughs> I, don't, I don't know uh, how long ago did you did you go to university Stephen uh, no. Uh, no shot shot okay. okay shot maybe we should no that's too complicated I was going to say maybe we should stagger the shot so somebody's always talking, but... Um, um. <laughs> How would we do... I go on the 11s. You go on the 27s. Yeah. I don't, that might I work don't know. until a shot like 40 and then forget about it. It's not going to be the most entertaining show. It's just going to be like us going, okay, shot. Okay, shot. No, okay, I, have, shot. I, have, I have topics to keep the, uh, the show as together as possible, which... I bet we can only talk about each topic for one minute. What <laughs> I, I did not write uh I did not write a hundred topics. Okay, so first topic. Free Willy one, two or three, which was the best one? It was one. Come on. There was one? A, it was a one. one. There was there was two and three. Come I on. didn't even know there it was, was a trilogy. A, I didn't know there was a three. It was a trilogy, come on. What does he just keep getting captured and set I don't, free? Again? I think he comes back to life and he like <laughs> saves the Christians. So, I don't know. You think the whale would be smart enough not to get caught again? Yeah. Alright, shot. Shot. Really? This well, is already getting fast. Yeah, yeah. Well it's not gonna be slow. 
I hope you have a lot of beers next to you, Stephen, because this is going to be yeah, a little rough. I went out and especially bought some Budweiser today just for you guys. Nice. There we go. I, I don't like that far in beer. Steve, are you are you are you doing it with us? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna hear. Cool. So how are you, how are you keeping track of that? Because we don't really know how to. Well, every time we yell shot, he's doing it also. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I can hear you. So, um, yeah, Steven's actually doing Random Ass Radio right after this. So not oh. only is he doing Century Club, he's going to do an entire <laughs> other show after this. Is there a drinking game in that show, too? That show is just the – well, they do uh, drunken trivia. Uh, uh, but um, it's basically just do trivia questions, drinking gonna, as fast as you can. Snoring, they're going <laughs> to be, be dead. It sounds like a fun game. Yeah. It's um, – it's it's not bad. It's actually uh, yeah. So, check out um, that show, randomassradio.com. And check out this this glass of beer that we have to drink. Shot, <laughs> shot, shot. Oh, fuck. This is the worst. You don't have to add it to me. Oh okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, I remember um, there was there was a few episodes ago where I said never move because moving's the worst, and to retire in whatever place you move into. Hmm. I'm taking that back. I'm already starting the countdown until I move. Oh yeah. Why? Yeah. What's wrong with this place? Uh, I like the actual place. Uh, I just don't like um, don't like landlords that don't tell the truth, and I don't like neighbors who. So uh, it is really haunted. Um, <laughs> it's yeah, it's a little haunted. And um, no, they they told us like we have this backyard right outside my bedroom, uh, but now they're saying we can't use it. Yeah. So then I said, well, well, you still have a backyard out there. Yeah. Well, I said, well, you told us we could use it, so I'm just going to go back there. You didn't say how you how how you could use it. You could throw things into it. You can't actually be there. They they <laughs> locked they locked the door going back there now. Mother, what, did they sell the apartment on having a backyard? That's what I. Th- that was the selling point for me. I said, the selling no, point it's was got me a, a shot of beer. Shot. Fuck. Yeah, that was a big selling point for me. It's gonna be a long hour and a half, forty minutes. And, um, <laughs> And now they say I can't use it, and I'm locked out, so I don't really know what to do. Plus, the neighbor upstairs apparently has a hearing problem, um, but and also a TV addiction, which is a bad combination. <laughs> so we get uh, blasting, blasting TV for about 15 hours a day. No joke. Wow. You know what you should do the mm-hmm. best way. The best way to deal with it, you should call up and cancel his cable. Uh, yeah, that wouldn't be a bad. Idea. He'll probably just turn on the radio though. I can hear the neighbor through my bedroom uh, wall, and he's a serial masturbator. Oh, yeah? And he's loud, too. A loud masturbator? Yes, and it's really gross. Why would you be loud does masturbator? He, does, do, does he do... <laughs> That's like something you want to just like keep to yourself. Does he do the stranger? He's like, ooh, who are you? <laughs> Is he like, oh, me. Does he shout girls' oh, names out? Oh, give it to me, myself. <laughs> give it to... Oh, yeah. Picky. Oh, wait, shot. Shot. Yeah, yeah, picky finger. How do you know uh, he's actually... Um, just took a shot, like, I'm gonna how do you know he's masturbating in there? Well, because he had a girl over once, and I could hear her, too. And But every once in a while, I'll just be sitting there, and he'll just, like, break out into this, like, oh, oh, and then it'll be... Where were the uh, empties? Um, that table. I mean, he's either oh, masturbating or can't reach. killing himself. <laughs> um, maybe he's just, like, he maybe he's, like, uh, just doing it with, Anke, like, uh, Helen Keller. <laughs> <laughs> she's silent. Maybe she's tied up and gagged. You're doing that, like... You can't hold the shot glass while you're pouring it because Why? after forty or fifty drinks, that's not going to work. I'm trying to show your, your there's, floor respect. There's when too I'm many. Spilling. There's too many variables. You can't just leave it on the table and pour it. I'll, I'll try it next time. It's, it's, I think it's easier anyway. But who am I to criticize other people's pouring techniques? So I have a question for you guys. Yeah. So right after we have the shot, actually, the shot's coming up right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then we'll hear Mark's question. So far, this isn't bad. What do we got? Like ninety-seven left. So uh, there's this organization I volunteer at, um, a mentoring organization, and uh, I was at a meeting for the mentoring organization last earlier this week, and it's like, like, like a business kind of office they have. And at the office, I went to use the bathroom, and the bathroom has like multiple bathrooms there, like multiple stalls. And I used the used the bathroom, and when I was finishing up, the, uh, the toilet doesn't flush. And so my question to you guys is: in that situation, if you were in that situation, would you tell them? Or would you just leave it and pretend you didn't do it? Oh, I'd leave it. I'd leave that shit, literally. Was it... <laughs> it was poopers, not peepers? Oh, if, if I just pissed, what the fuck do I... I wouldn't even tell the story. <laughs> <laughs> I, I What I did um, was carefully cover it with an, um, with toilet paper so no one would notice it. I'm not really sure how well effective that's that was. A lot of, that's a lot of effort, actually. <laughs> because Shot. what if somebody's Shot. walking in while you're covering the... Uh, 
the toilet with toilet paper, then what do you say? That you put yourself in a predicament almost. Glad a hypothetical it. predicament. Um, One time I clogged yeah. up the toilet, and uh, but, I, uh, but I left it, and then someone else went in and uh, took a shit, and then she got all the blame. <laughs> nice. That story really ended well. <laughs> it was better that it was a she. I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That like really like that really did make the story so much better. <laughs> if you can blame a big shit on a girl, <laughs> that's it's like twice as much shit. It was like it's sh- enough shit for two people. It's like when you like like you're in a crowd and like you like make a nasty fart and somehow some girl gets the credit for it and you're like, oh, this is wonderful. <laughs> I was on a date once and I was waiting in line with a girl for the bathrooms and uh, I farted and. Uh, she started wave, like waving her, uh, waving her hand near her nose and was pointing at the bathroom. Like, was she doing like, a really shot of beer? <laughs> oh shit! Shot shit. Uh, Segway. Oh, that one's cold. Mm. I like that better. Uh, okay, so continue the story. And Louder though. That was pretty much the story. Oh okay. Oh, oh, that was <laughs> not you. And then I ravaged her. <laughs> she was so turned on by my gas. I saw the other day this guy was taking a piss, but he used a paper towel to hold his dick. Now, there, there's only two situations that was you Was this would, at work? Uh, yeah, this was at work. There's only two reasons you would do that. One, your hand's too dirty. Or two, your dick is too dirty. If, you're, <laughs> if your hand is too dirty... Man, I would touch that shit with my own hands. <laughs> if, if your hand's too dirty, you wash it before you go to the bathroom. If your dick is too dirty, you, you need it. to see a doctor. <laughs> Either way, you shouldn't be doing that. I, anyway. well, what situation were you in that you saw him using a table towel to... You walk in and somebody's, you uh, know... I guess at the urinal with a... Uh... <laughs> He yeah, he didn't want his gonorrhea to spread to his... Well, he was like three steps ahead of me, and I saw him grab a paper towel and then walk right over to the, the urinal. Well, maybe and he was just wiping. Shot. Shot. He, 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 he was holding. He was definitely holding. You checked it out good and proper. <laughs> yeah, probably. Didn't want to get oh, on yeah. his uh, work pants. Took a picture. Yeah. Um, and the, the people just have the weirdest bathroom habits. One guy does the Superman... You know, hands on his hips, no hands. <laughs> Makes me nervous. I, I won't like go. He's in, like he's in the woods. Like, it's like a fire hose that starts spraying up in the ceiling and shit. Like sometimes you know. stuff happens. You got to have a hand there just in case. <laughs> it, it makes me nervous. I won't go next to that guy. So, if you're you're you got to aim too. You got to <clears throat> prevent splatter. You know, it's yeah. all about making sure it's going. Sometimes in. you get the the VP where it goes in two different directions. <laughs> you have no hands going on there. That could be a predicament. So when the splatter happens back, like you're like you're like okay, I'm done. Then there's a little extra when you get back in your pants. Are you like grossed out by it? You're like, eh, fuck it. <laughs> I don't know. That has never happened to me. <laughs> Shot. Shot. Yeah. Are you talking about the second wave pee? Well, like like the little trickles out afterwards when you think you're done, but you're already now you're already like washing it to wash up to the sink. Yeah, I don't like that. That's <laughs> not that's not fun. I'm like paranoid now, and I shake for like an extra five five and a half minutes just to make sure that doesn't happen words, no matter how how hard you shake the minute you put your dick back in your pants a dribble comes out and you're like yeah oh. exactly you could freaking shake that thing raw and you still get a couple of dribblets coming out oh well we went to the lowest common denominator really quick on this well, if you're if you're shaking it for five minutes, Jay, afterward, that's not that's not a dribble thing. That's something else. I think it's more appropriate just to have the dribble on your underwear than to drip to shake it too long at the. Uh... <laughs> yeah. If uh, I walked into the bathroom and I was able to have a piss and you were still standing there shaking your dick, you'd be like, uh, you know, you're just getting yourself off in the urine. <laughs> Maybe it's like brushing your teeth. You gotta do it for two minutes afterwards. Shot. 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 Thirteen, by the way. Shot thirteen. It's already getting hard. When's, let me just uh, figure this out. Uh, Wait, you see your shot, pussy. All right. Hello, you're on the show. Hey, Jay. Hey. Who are we hey, this is, uh, this is John. Oh, hey. How you doing, John? Yeah, I just wanted to clarify something for you guys really, really quick. <laughs> um, when you pee in two streams, at least in my experience, um, that's usually after a night of uh, of having sex and not cleaning up afterwards. So you have like a little cum booger in the tip of that, <laughs> and that'll split the stream uh, quite a few times. At least I always. I mean, you know, you're pissing down your leg with one of them. The other one's going off the left side of the bowl. That's usually like a little a little cum booger that's in there. Is so this you really wipe up when you're done? Is this Jason's neighbor, the vigorous masturbator? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, I also that that I think that guy just has a low potassium count, and he just he gets cramps. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. He needs to maybe work if out. you shove, shove some potassium pills under shove. his door or a banana shove. maybe and see what happens. Man, hurry up. All right, hold on one sec, John. I'm trying to get the conference going. It's, uh, let's see. Can we get? Oh, these? no, that's, I just, I wanted to just clear up the cum booger. All right. And, okay, um, cool. I'll let you guys, let you guys have your fun. We, we appreciate the cum booger just... clarification. Yeah, no, that's, that's, uh, you know, that's, this is why you're the trivia At all champion. points in life, I need the uh, cum booger clarification. It's biology. Well, I mean, a lot of people have pissed the two streams and probably, well, what the fuck, what's wrong with me? And it's usually, you know, a little something, and, you know, usually it's just a little bit of uh, dry jizz in there. I so, used to think I'm developing uh, a Wipe su- up when you're done, kids. I used to think I'm developing a superpower, then it goes away. <laughs> <laughs> I, can aim, I, can, I can aim it. I can give two golden showers. Well, it usually only lasts for the first half of the piss, and then it disappears. And then you kind of miss it. <laughs> All right, thanks for calling in, John. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Later. Steven, sorry about that. We're, uh, Amen. I'm not very technically savvy. Uh, oh, only after 100 episodes? <laughs> yeah, one call blows up the entire Shot. show. Shot! That was a great oh call, God. though. Yeah, that was that was a very good call. That was uh, that was John from Random Ass Radio, which is actually uh, the show Stephen Cliff is going to be on right after. Random Ass Radio, yeah! So, uh, yeah, transition right in. It'll be a nice uh, four straight hours of drunken ramble bullshit. I was like, that random caller had some funny witty lines. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, Stephen, you want to plug your show real quick? Uh, well, yeah, the, the Stephen um, same as you guys, get drunk, talk pish. Uh, every Tuesday night, uh, the Stephen Cliff Show dot com. Stephen, do you want to do you want to plug your country now? <laughs> country? <laughs> yeah. Not really. I'd rather be in yours. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you in Scotland? Uh, Falkirk. Okay. I don't know. It's like in between Glasgow and Edinburgh. It's like you know. I shit. know where that is. That's right near doing a shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I went to. A, I did a haggis tour. Are you familiar with the haggis company? The haggis, yeah. Yeah, they, it's, it's they they take backpackers around and show them uh, and show them Scotland. So I, I, I've driven through Falkirk. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I heard Ireland's more pretty. It's actually hey, pretty. Uh, it's the correct term, actually. <laughs> nice grammar, teach. No, it is. No, you, you, You're you, a teacher. No, you can say more pretty or prettier. You just can't say more prettier. You can you can say more pretty. Can you? Yeah. Really? Sing. You can say more Sing. pretty. You can say more pretty. Can you say that without lying? <laughs> you can't say more prettier. I. You can I don't say know. More pretty or prettier, but you can't say more prettier. Do you have to be like the rabbits are more pretty as you like pet them and break their necks? <laughs> <laughs> prettier just sounds better. It's more. It's. Uh, more concise. Oh fuck! Nobody can hear Stephen live. Oh, fuck! This is really shit. technically a brilliant show. Yeah. And you know what? Technically, also, technically, uh, it's time to do a shot. All right. No, not yet. Right now, now it's time. <laughs> all right. Uh, when you're done doing a shot, Stephen, say something. I think I fixed the audio in the uh, in the chat room. Yeah. Shot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, Stephen. We are. Stephen is now in the the chat room. Good. We celebrate 100 <laughs> anniversaries in such a classy way. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's, it's good oh, not to stay up for. It's a little more controlled than the fiftieth episode. I think when I get my hundredth birthday, I'll do this again. <laughs> <laughs> Keep this and you're not going to make it. Yeah. You'll probably want to kill yourself by then anyway, so that's a good way to go. I don't know if a hundred year old can. Uh, I don't know. What was it? How old was that guy from the Man Show who chugged <laughs> beers in like two seconds? That guy was pretty old. He died. Oh, well, yeah, he did die. <laughs> did he die? Yeah, he did die, actually. All right, well, <laughs> there goes my <laughs> argument. I mean, in te- uh, technically, I mean, everyone yeah, dies. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, that's that probably the biggest cause of the bit. biggest cause of death is actually life. <laughs> Good point. Good John. point. John. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is going to get messy. All right, you're peeking the audio every time you scream shot. Don't do that, please. Okay. Shot. <sighs> not yet, not yet. I just want to fuck with him. All right. Um,. Let's see, 420 was last week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do we actually know what in the what, middle of the week? What 420 actually means? I mean, what it actually came from? The origins? Yeah, it's a really long, boring story. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of college guys used to meet up to smoke at 420. That's really, actually, that's, that's a really that's short, long? boring story. Yeah, that was not even really much to it. Like, <laughs> I can't imagine there's much more. <laughs> I always just made up a story, and that was that the cops' code for pot was 420. But. That could not be true, but I still tell it. <laughs> All right. I mean, you could fool dumb high school kids with that one. Well, it's actually because uh, weed actually burns at a 420 degrees. <laughs> there we go. Fahrenheit 420. Yeah. <laughs> if you packed a, if you 
roll the perfect Shut joint. It takes 420 Shut seconds. I'm just fucking with you. I'm sorry. <laughs> you have no idea how annoying that is when people download that on iTunes. You're listening to the show, and then you're deaf. Okay, so both people that they go, that download will go deaf. Listen, I have <laughs> I have ten of listeners. Uh, yeah, no, it's. I'm gonna put the, sh- the beers back in the uh, thing. Okay, do they do 420 in Scotland? Full 20. Yeah. Oh. What about Fourth of July? Are you familiar? <laughs> Are you familiar with 420? Full 20, no. 420 is it's supposed to be the coolest time to smoke weed and so super super potheads smoke weed every day at 420 and obviously when it's April 20th aka 420 they go insane and like oh, I got to smoke all day and um drink so i just wanted to know what you guys thought about we're not uh, saying americans are lazy but we have a time during our work day where we smoke no. pot. I think that since drinking has so many days during the year dedicated to it, it's okay that, that one day per year be dedicated for what pot days smoking. Are, what days are dedicated to drinking? St. Patrick's Day. New Year's, yes. St. Patrick's Day, Easter. 4th of July. Wedding anniversaries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't <laughs> think uh, the day in itself, yeah, in theory, is the worst. Wow, we were like a fifth <clears throat> way, way through. Yeah, that was quick. Uh, I'm not even drunk. For some reason, I, I don't think you get drunk yesterday. That was the easiest fit. Say that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, uh, 420, I was saying that I don't think the day itself is that lame. I think the people who are so hardcore about it make it lame. They, uh, people get pretty annoying about it. and uh, I don't know. Nobody. I agree with you, Jay. People are lame. Or, Shot. Shot. <laughs> Shot. <laughs> they should just stuff like with us sit around record ourselves while we drink yeah yeah we one of those guys um you know uh yeah i never thought i always thought that was kind of a a weird thing 420 yeah yeah i, I, I always thought it, i thought 420 would be a lot better if there's a cool story behind it um i know there's, yeah. there's apparently there's some college kids that were like taking break between masturbation sessions to like pull up the holiday so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, if people are doing uh, hard liquor, you can play along. It, it The equivalent is every you know cool? six minutes instead of every minute. I can see on the yeah. video, on the video screen, I see, I see a cat walking in on the, no, the background. Don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to be associated with this. Um, um, stop yelling. <laughs> Yeah, it's every every six minutes is a shot of liquor. If you want to do this, for those of, that would those be of you who can't see it, uh, Mark starts getting ready for the shot ten seconds before. Yeah, <laughs> each time. <laughs> and no, um, actually, wait, sorry, it's every eight and a half minutes. My bad. I was gonna say like every six minutes. No, every eight and a half. Minutes. Pretty freaking brutal. Yeah, no, eight, eight and a half minutes. Eight and a half minutes. That would be a rough show, also. I think. Yeah. yeah. Is this shot? Wait, what kind of shot though? Can we do a shot of like uh... any hard liquor? No, not like. Pussy hard liquors like schnapps or you know. Oh, I was gonna do like a what's the shot we always do? Rumpel Soco lime. Soco and lime. That's that's manly. Oh, Atlanta. <laughs> I can't do I can't do Soco. I've I've drank it four times in my life and have thrown up three times. That's the only drink I can drink a whole bottle of rum. I just can't do Soco. So twenty five percent of the time you're awesome. <laughs> yeah, the rest of the time I'm that guy. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I I did join the the Facebook group. I don't get drunk. I get awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is somebody in the chat room drinking along with us? Oh, yeah. Oh, drunk. sweet. Oh, sweet. Really? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait. We shot. We shot. We shot. shot as well. What was that? This this guy here in the chat room that's doing shots of vodka, he's from Scotland as well. Nice. Sweet. Oh, wow. Well, welcome to the show. This is, um, we don't do this every we'll show because, uh, see how it degrades. I don't even know how. <laughs> I, I, I would be able to do shots of water in a minute. I don't even know if I'd want to do this many shots of water. Yeah. That's the best way to put it. Just put it in there. Did we go through that many cans already? Yeah. Wow. We they go pretty fast. <laughs> okay. Um, we have a... I have some more... I have some more topics. Tomorrow's May 1st. Okay. I was just commenting on them, waiting for the May flowers. It's May Day. You're really stretching. You? <laughs> You're really stretching. Uh, no, no, you know what holiday it is. Uno de Mayo. Ooh. <laughs> 
It's not celebrated by many. Quatro uh... Dias before. <laughs> Shot. Shot. I actually don't like Uno de Mayo. That's rent day. Do you, think right, single, wanted... do you think every single day of the calendar year is a holiday in at least one culture? Yeah, one there's country? that there's that poster. We used to drink for every day of the year. Uh, Steve, what day, yes, you, what day of the month do you guys pay the rent? Uh, pay the rent? Uh, I don't know. I think it's the end of the month. The 25th, I pay my mortgage. Oh. That's insane. That's crazy. You pay the first. Oh, yeah, you guys are in the future. future. for me, so... That's what I do. They're in the future? He's doing the show from the future. It's Uno de Mayo there. In the, in the future, is Obama still a good guy? <laughs> he's all right. He's like um, in bed with Gordon Brown, and he's losing the battle big time. <laughs> Who's giving it, Gordon or Obama? Oh, Gordon. Gordon's uh, giving it to save his... Really? Save his I always figured oh, Obama would be a bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Shot. 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 Oh, shot. Why not, right? What do we got? We got uh, 75 more. We're, we're going to die. We're, we're going to die. We're on 25. Yeah, we're going to die. I'm, I'm feeling okay. I mean, yeah, I'm not. Really? Really? Okay. Not already? Well, I mean, I'm not sick, but I'm not sober, and I have to do 75 more. I'm not feeling like this is a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is going to get a lot worse than. Uh, it's actually not going to get better. <laughs> My girlfriend's about to leave the apartment. She's like, she, I don't want to see what happens really in 75 minutes. <laughs> we need to have an ambulance parked in the front. <laughs> okay, can you just go and buy a stomach pump and then, uh, and then come back? <laughs> oh, wow. She just said, I'm the one who's going to pass out first. That's, uh... Oh, so, uh, Steve. Yes. I wanted to tell you more about this uh, this tour this tour company Haggis because they, they their whole mo is to, to mess with dumb Americans. Let's take a shot and then I'll tell you the story. Shot. Shot. Oh yeah. All right. Share that story. So uh, what they did is, is they would stop the tour bus on the side of the road and there was this huge pile of rocks. And mm-hmm. then they gave us some bullshit story about how this pile of rocks was historical because of some reason and some reason and some other reason. And that we can be a part of history, and we can put a rock on the pile. And then, and sir, the the story probably went on for like five minutes about bullshit Scottish history. And so, essentially, the the tourist company is building this humongous pile of rocks by the side of the road that means nothing and lying to every American tourist that comes through. Yeah, I found that pretty funny. They actually also piss on the rocks. <laughs> You always get like, no offense, but you get Americans coming over going, you know, I'm part Scottish. My great, 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 great grand lived in a castle. No shit. It's worse than that. A lot of people are like. great, great grandfather had Scottish slaves. Yeah. I'm Scottish. I've seen Braveheart seven times. Yeah. I'm part Scottish, part Irish, part English. So what part of you is American? Hundred percent American pride. Yeah, wave that flag around. Do you guys in Scotland I even speak Scottish? Do you guys in Scotland think America's <laughs> fucking awesome? Also, yeah, I, I lived in America for a year, and I'd move back tomorrow if I could. Really, really. Where Where'd you live? I stayed down. Down in what? Oh, like program Disney Wait, World and that. Where'd you live? Yeah, Skype cut out. Yeah, I did the uh, down in Florida. Oh, okay. Yeah, the whole program with Disney and that. Oh, I was. Uh, oh, the that's program. Uh, the international. Oh, I was. Did you live in Vista Way? Yeah, uh, the Commons. Nah, oh, dude, I lived in Vista Way. What year were you there? Yeah, two thousand and one, two thousand and two. Oh shit, I was. Were you? I was there in one. Oh no way! <laughs> that's awesome. We could have had a drink in Bennigan's, and we don't even know about it. Probably did. <laughs> that would be the most random thing. Or my oh, and a shot. And a shot. You can have a drink right now. Yeah. Virtual drink or, online. Or maybe we hooked up with the same Minnie Mouse. Fuck yeah. That was a big score down there. Like, if you hooked up with one of the one of the characters, it mm. was a big score. Yeah, I can see Steve, that. Steve, did you nail one of the characters? And if it's goofy, it's still cool. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, we, we used to have at the Commons, we used to have the, the shagging around the world. Oh, <laughs> shit. So you pull somebody from every country. Did you make it around the world? No. How does how do Scottish women compare to uh, women in Florida? Um, uh, not as good. Uh oh. As good. Florida's not even. Uh... <laughs> Are the Scottish women easier or not? Harder. American women are so much easier. So the American <laughs> women are more attractive and easier. Yeah. Wait, you were, you were in Florida where women are easier, and New York women are 
a challenge. Yeah. Uh, yeah, challenge. In, uh, in, in New York, yeah, I, I think I, I've heard they're harder than in the South. As in hmm. New, New York women have so many options. Ah, uh, I see. In the South, they're impressed if you know how to program a VCR. <laughs> <laughs> You're from the big city, <laughs> You own a VCR? <laughs> yeah, you have you have electricity. Uh, what were we talking about? I'm... Um, women easy in New York City. Oh um, yeah, no, I was gonna say that Mickey Mouse kind of sucks. Mickey Mouse? Mickey Mouse sucks. He hasn't done anything. Why you get the hell like, out of our country? He hasn't done anything Let's in get like the hell out of our 50 country, years. Nazi. Seriously, what does he do? What does he do? He does. He makes my hopes and dreams come alive every time I go to Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> when I went to Disney World, all I wanted to see was Minnie Mouse. I mean, Mickey Mouse. But I saw, you know, every other fucking character. Like, even the stupidest Disney character. Um, shot. shot. What is the stupidest Disney character? You guys should know best. You work there. <laughs> I remember going to see my... Uh, I, I was dating a girl when I was down there. And uh, Donald Duck. By the way, the costumes are you so small. Steve him. knows this. The costumes are so small that they're all pretty much girls, except for like Goofy. So, and Goofy and Paluto, the tall ones. Yeah, it's exactly. an awkward moment when you find out Goofy's not a woman. <laughs> so Donald Donald Duck is a Donald a girl? Duck's a girl, and oh, Donald wow. Duck was sitting down looking very dejected. No, Donald and, Duck is not a girl. Oh, 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 oh the, in, oh, the, the, in the costume. It's not real. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I that's asked, like Donald out the... is a man and a Republican. <laughs> <laughs> that's like finding out there's no tooth fairy. <laughs> I can't believe tooth fairy is a man. No, the stupidest Disney character is uh, that female Goofy they made up. Is a female Goofy? I just made that up, but I'm I'm is pretty she, sure it's. Is she as hot as anything? They made a female everything. Right? Come on, there's gotta be there's gotta be a. Did we just do a shot? Definitely yes. the stupidest one is Geppetto. Who the fuck wants his autograph? <laughs> Geppetto. <laughs> I want to go to Disney to World and God. just come back with a picture with Geppetto. But yeah, I turned down Donald. Fuck yeah. that guy. Go on a quest. Great, Geppetto. If I want to hang out with a carpenter, I'd go to church. What did you do? Hang out with an ins- <laughs> <laughs> He hung out with a little boy. <laughs> and uh, he spent a couple months in a whale's stomach, right? That's pretty much all he did. I think that's yeah. Jonah. I think Geppetto did too. I don't think Geppetto went on a whaling adventure. I think he did. I don't Geppetto. think he was, in, he was in multiple stories. No, I think he did. And Pinocchio comes back was to in free a whale's stomach. Never seen Pinocchio? Yeah. Um, Geppetto is Pinocchio. Yeah, oh, is Pinocchio not? I thought Geppetto went to look for him on his little cardboard raft. What what adventures have Geppetto had in your mind? I, I think <laughs> Do I. You write your own Geppetto stories? I think I'm at the point of the night where I'm just making up everything. <laughs> yeah. it's too I'm telling you, Geppetto invented 420. <laughs> Um, shot. shot, shot, shot. Oh my god! Fuck. I know it's not gonna get better. So, Bye, Jay's misses. Have a nice done. time. No, 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 <laughs> oh, I remember. Uh, I went. I went. Uh, there's a series of tunnels underneath Magic Kingdom in Disney World. Did you yeah. know? Did you know Geppetto led, led the Jews out of Egypt? He did. He part of the Red Sea, right? <laughs> yeah. They should make a Geppetto ride. They put you to work. You just build little wooden boys. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a kind of a sick story. He's like, I'm gonna build my own little boy because I can't like the law won't let me get my own. I, I used to be a priest, but uh, I retired, so now I just make little wooden boys. I hope this boy comes alive. That way, I can touch his wood. <laughs> I keep having trouble making that little wooden penis. <laughs> okay, his nose gets bigger for the Disney story. Yeah. I the real Geppetto, though. <laughs> Man, carbonation doesn't work out for me. <laughs> Shot. Shot. Uh, what was that, Shot? No, don't make a special shot for everybody. That would be a terrible... I'm going to do a shot for you guys. Oh, you're going to do a shot. Okay, no, yeah. it have to be my own shot. Okay, yeah, sure. If they weren't, everyone... Feel free to come in any minute. <laughs> Okay, but I'm not doing anything let's other just, than beer. Yeah, well, why don't we stick with the shots we're doing? Because <laughs> anything mean, else, I actually will die. You know, it kind of concerns me that some of these shots are warmer than, than others. What are you guys doing to them? <laughs> I don't um, know. The beers that weren't in my ass were in the refrigerator. <laughs> what just happened? Oh, yeah, Geppetto. Um, he's now my favorite Disney character. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now you want to find him. He takes a lot of adventures. So he's, wait, oh, he's the carpenter from uh, Pinocchio. Okay, I didn't know who yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah. Oh. That's how that's how minor he is. In, in Geppetto the Ride, you just sit on an old man's lap. 
That's that's the whole. How's ride. the headphone switch going? <laughs> Successful. You have an awkward cuddle on an old man's lap. Yeah, the, the, that's, oh, the, that's the seat for the roller coaster. Is you sit on his and his arms come round you, and that's your braces. <laughs> yeah, and and he says to you, "Come on, lie, boy, lie." <laughs> and the lights go off, and when they come back, maybe your zipper's a little more undone than it was. Okay, the weird. I always see thought where the... you were, you lie. Okay, you weren't about bad Disney characters. I always thought it was weird that so uh, it's that Pluto was a dog and he was on all fours, and uh, what's his name, Goofy, was a dog and not on just walked upright. And I thought, how did they choose which dog can walk upright or not? Is Goofy a dog? Goofy doesn't look like a dog at all. What the yeah, hell is he? What kind of mutated freak is he? <laughs> that's, 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 that's exactly why he doesn't look like a dog, because he walks on upright. You know? He's a dog. He is a dog, but he should walk on all fours. Fuck, I'm going to write Walt Disney and tell him, once he's done killing all the Jews, I can, he should take care of this. Once he's done killing... I think he's frozen. Right. <laughs> Cheers, y'all. But you guys are starting to do these like five seconds early now. This is oh yeah, like it's gonna be a huge difference. Cats in, cats here. All right. Oh. I only Cat, do it five seconds Cat's early because do a shot of it. It takes five seconds to get the beer in my my mouth now. Yeah, <laughs> sixty five more to go. Uh, that's oh my god! Really my last shot is still going down my throat. Oh my god! Yeah, no. This is this is because it brutal. remains down your throat. <laughs> a new body. Oh my god! Oh no! So okay. So uh, there's a t- series of tunnels underneath Magic Kingdom, and uh, there it's for employees to get around, like go to the locker room, the pisser. Like I heard, that's how they change the garbage too. They take it from underground, <laughs> yeah, so you don't see people like moving around garbage bags. But I had like I had like this 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 moment of terror when I when I went down to the tunnels and I turned the corner and there was this rack of Mickey heads staring Ooh, blankly, into, creepy, kind of like skulls. <laughs> yeah, and, and it, it was With the stuffing coming. Like, the, dr- the stuffing dripping out of their bottom <laughs> of their neck. <laughs> I thought about stealing it. You know, I, that would have been awesome to play the Rack and Mickey heads. Oh, oh, man. Oh, my God. <sighs> I need to release some gas. This is a lot of shots really quick. I have a nephew who's four months old, and every time he he, finish, he eats, like, I guess has the milk, um, my sister, he claps on the back until he burps. Okay. Cat does that to me. I'm just saying, could, could, could someone slap me on the back until I burp? <laughs> I said every time I eat, you pat me on the back until I burp. Uh, oh, oh, did you guys see uh, the last two South Park episodes? Do you guys get South Park, uh, Stephen? Yes. Are, are no, you guys I mean, up to I date, mean, or are you just getting, the, like, season three? Not that the show comes through. No, we're, like, a, a couple of weeks behind you. So. Oh, okay. Uh, we don't mean does the show come through. Do you guys get it? Is the humor, like, relevant to you guys? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, uh, you might not have seen it yet. The last two episodes, they made fun of uh, Muhammad. Oh, if, you, if, if you go to our website, there's a picture of Muhammad up there. Just <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they actually oh, drew. Shit. They actually drew uh, or drew the line for the first Stop. time ever. Yeah. Oh Jesus Christ! All right, good luck, guys. Thank you, thank you. Stephen says goodbye. Uh, so yeah, it, no, it's not that. Um, how long your shot? Huh? I didn't do the shot? No. You're oh. behind. Are you fucking with me or are you really didn't do I'm it? I'm fucking with you. Do your freaking shot. Okay. <laughs> but sure I know I'm going to do it like in 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Do your, no. do your homework and do your shots, kids. All right. I have a point here. They, uh, two weeks, last, two weeks ago and last week, they made fun of every religion. Not really bad. They just had every religion and um, one of them was uh, Muhammad. And you're not allowed to show Muhammad in, in their religion. So they've, you know... Depict him. Yeah, you're not, you're not allowed to thing. depict him even, ne- whether it be negative, positive, People or are getting neutral. up in right. arms about right. the, <laughs> the idea that, like, uh, that that religion is so crazy about uh, being depicting him. But if you're going to be so psycho about the depiction of the Muhammad... Shot. Let's in- Shot. Wow, you sound like you're really building up to you're something there. You're not supposed there, to interrupt discussions of Muhammad. I was shot. trying to. I was trying to get it's to really the point really good conversation. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say is... If your religion is psycho enough that you guys think it's a big deal to draw Muhammad and you guys will ride over that, I think all your religions just say, we're going to respect that. We're not going to, we're not going to draw Muhammad because you guys are fucking insane. As long as you admit you're fucking insane, we're not going to draw Muhammad. <laughs> say it. Say it. You're insane. <laughs> I, I have no problem with them not drawing. I, I think South Park was trying to go over the line and be like edgy. Now, you know what? I do have a problem with it. Do you? Yeah, I think if you're going to, like, where in their religion does it say to overreact and have no sense of humor about anything? Have you read their, their the Quran? Every page. Oh, God. Couldn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> I really? know what to do. No, they're all crazy. Well, they're all, that's my point. Know, I, I, every religion has, like, like, 
And for eight days a year, I can't eat bread. How insane is that? Let's Does he look like Jesus it. at all? Cheers. Cheers. Is he like a slightly darker Jesus? We don't know. We can't draw a picture of him. <laughs> All right. Somebody said they're a Family Guy man. Are you a Family Guy man now, or are you a Family Guy man like five years ago? Because I think that show went the first so three, downhill. The first three seasons were brilliant. Yeah. After yeah. that, it's been a. Uh, it's hard for any show to go on too long. I, I mean, after a while, Guy. after a while, they need to just stop. They just need to stop. I think as soon as they made Stewie Gay, the show was just done. The three first three seasons were brilliant. After that, it's really been hit or miss. There's Mostly miss though. Stuff. There's been some good. Like I, I remain a steadfast Family Guy fan. Yeah, I, I don't even watch it anymore. It was yeah. my, it was my, fa- it was such a favorite show that I actually went to a Valentine's Day dinner with my girlfriend at the time and called to my apartment to make sure my roommates were taping a new episode. I was that obsessed with the show. <laughs> what is better? And now I don't even watch it. What is better in its prime? South Park, Simpson, or Family Guy? In Which its is the better prime. Oh, that's a good prime. One. So I, three I, year I, run, shot. A pr- three year runs a prime shot. Three year prime, huh? I think. Um, do, do you watch all three, I mean, Stephen? Or have you watched all three at some point in time? Yes, I've watched you, all three. Do you guys time. get The Simpsons there? <laughs> oh, is this, new, is this, this new crazy program? I, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being an idiot. <laughs> I hear good, man. Oh, wait, I'm going to spend this next 40 seconds to. Uh... <laughs> so, wait, answer my question. Which uh, Are you guys taking pictures? Yeah, we got a um, which so which which what do you think is uh, which had a better prime? I would say um, I think it's clear as far as uh, I think people, I, when, when, people, when people come back and 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 just try to do, judge the two shows um, like ten years from now they're gonna say Simpsons because uh, can I get that cause job? Because fa- Family Guy, ten years <laughs> yeah. Family Guy is so <laughs> topical. If, uh, if you're not if you try to watch Family Guy like twenty years from now. It's definitely not going to be as funny as The Simpsons. I'm going to go with Simpsons. Um, I there was there was a few episodes where I may have laughed more during Family Guy, but I think overall quality wise, uh, I got to say Simpsons. They just had such I, brilliant writing. I was revolutionary. I would say Simpsons was the best. Family Guy had some amazing episodes, but not quite as good. And longevity wise, South Park actually wins. Yeah, it does because it's always been about fifty percent good and fifty percent complete shit. But it's been like that since it started. They still have some brilliant episodes. They had an episode yeah. about Facebook a couple weeks ago, which was freaking brilliant. South Park yeah. has something the other two don't. It gets better with time. I truly think I South agree Park with you. It, it has some brilliant recent episodes. I think it's just been always steady, like always 50-50. You may see a hilarious episode. You may see an awful episode. But every season is like that. So Simpsons is like mm-hmm. the super hot like model chick who loses her looks and like gets fat. <laughs> right, but one who was around for a while, like South uh, Park. South Park is kind of attractive, but always stays kind of attractive. Do or, a shot, or shot. or no. South Park is the girl that like loses weight and fluctuates with her weight, you know. And then, so sometimes hot, like hot like, every other like year. Jessica Simpson. Like yeah. she, she's hot. She got really fat. She made a comeback. She's fat again. The Simpsons are, are Jessica. She gets Simpson. pregnant. She gets heard, pregnant. Every I heard year. that Jessica Simpson only brushes her teeth three times a week. That was actually a cutting edge news story on Fox News. Family Guy is the show <laughs> that like she's like the Thank hot God for Fox Family Guy is the hot girl you hook up with, stop hooking up with, and she burns on your house. Because <laughs> <laughs> she's so like the uh, the. Uh, you were so excited, and then it ended up being a nightmare. Yeah, basically. You were so excited for the return to TV, and then it didn't work out. She was like that girl that was uh, in TLC that burned down the guy, uh, guy that left the Falcon's house. Did that uh, really happen? Yeah, that really happened. <laughs> and then she died. That's all true, actually. <laughs> That's the girl, uh, Lisa, Lisa uh, Left Eye Lopez. Lopez yeah, yeah, she burned down... Uh, she burned what's down someone's name? house? Yeah, yeah. She was so normal. Shot. Shot. Dude. I'm kind of not wanting these. <laughs> yeah. I, I kind of want this to stop soon. Well, we're only at Are we halfway there yet? There. No, we are 43 Dude. minutes in. We're getting there. Well, I mean, we could all just stop at Power Hour and, and get a castration. <sighs> yeah, no. Yeah, then we all have to wear panties next episode. That'd be a really awful episode. <laughs> yeah. We can't hype this and then not do it, but it's going to Did you suck. really hype it? Was it like, how'd you hype it? Oh, it's worldwide. <laughs> There's, you know. <laughs> well, people are downloading it or like knew about it, knew about it in advance. <laughs> yeah. I think a power hour would have been more appropriate. We did that and it actually wasn't... Um, well, you get a strong beer and do a power hour. A strong beer. You see, that's where it gets tricky. Well, this, see this... You, you don't what, know how what, a strong what, beer is. See how strong you think this beer is in an hour. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is going to... 
no matter what beer you have, uh, an hour of carbonation in your stomach is going to be pretty rough. Yeah, well, we're going to have to take like a five-minute breather. Speaking no, of there's point. no breather. Speaking of carbonation, shot. Shot. There's absolutely no breather. I mean, I'm, ac- I'm actually okay, but I'm sympathetic to people who can't hold can't it. No, I mean, I'm going to have to like pee at some point. Um, yeah, in 100 minutes. <laughs> oh, God. If, if you want to take a breather, you just have to admit you're a woman. Well, we got a... Uh, I'm sympathetic to people who are feeling it now because when I feel by like way, in, in 20, 20 minutes... I'm in 20 minutes, I will be a woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're all tough guy now, but... Uh, so you have some topics to talk about. What are the topics? Well, we already went over uh, four out of five, so... Uh, <laughs> quite, a, quite a list you made. <laughs> you that was a brilliant, a brilliant list. I, I kind of thought... Four out of five. I thought we'd talk about beer. Then I thought we'd talk about doing shots of beer. Then I thought about how we talk about how it's annoying to do shots of beer after a minute. Well, every time I bring up an idea, you guys are like, yeah, 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 all right, my idea now. So then they just go by the wayside. What's what, number five? What, what are your ideas? Like a big I know what your ideas are. Your ideas are like... So we guys take a new hundred dollar bill. It's pretty pretty cool. Huh? Shot. Shot. <laughs> I'm not NPR. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. Oh. I don't know. That's so much... uh, Arizona. Oh, Arizona. there's a topic. Yeah. So um, about, it's pretty about, pretty hot there. How about the new like <laughs> really American Stalin regime where you have to have your papers to not go to jail? I don't have a problem with that. Them stopping white people. <laughs> It's not for the law to stop white people. Well, you know they're not going to wait. They're not going to stop any white people. I thought it was all about like preventing Europeans from getting the country. Yeah, yeah that's that's the whole thing. They're gonna they're gonna prevent Eastern Europeans from coming to the country. <laughs> so there was a uh, a congressman from Texas who said that uh, I think it's from Texas. I forget what state it's from. Um, but he's a Republican who said we should we should deport all children that were born here of illegals. So he wants to deport American citizens. Which, uh, for the record, if you're born in the country, you're automatically a citizen no matter what. Shot. Shot. Right, so that guy just doesn't know the law. (laughs) If you're going to be racist, at least do it nice and proper. So the guy wants to deport, like, regular citizens just for being brown. If we let Texas succeed, would that be a real problem for our nation? (laughs) You know, the biggest problem... Here's a little history lesson for you, Stephen. The biggest problem with this country is that when we had the Civil War... It was because the South wanted to secede, and we didn't want them to. <laughs> and if we let them secede, which is, uh, for people who don't know what the word secede means, leave. It doesn't mean <laughs> succeed. We, in America, we want to succeed, not secede. Right. And so if we it's let like them... desert and desert. If we let them just leave, and we had two separate countries, uh, we would have absolutely no problems, because we have we, our government... Is totally separated among two lines. Okay, and if we separated, we're like the most warlike each... country in the world. We would we would have dropped atomic bombs on each other. Right? No, no, no. <laughs> That's what would have happened. We would have kept Washington. The South uh, shot. The South would have done that when they seceded because they would have become the bullies of the planet, and uh, you know we wouldn't be involved with all that. They would have found a reason to invade us. They'd be like, North is getting uppity by having that. Uh, the Family Guy show would invade us. <laughs> That's true. Does it bother anybody else that people are talking about secession, like? What year is it? Mix my beer. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah. What are you complaining about my last topic? <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you had, hang on. Hang on. I, what I, would I, that I, other country? Be? I have a point. Hang on. Does so, it get you mad that Jay's talking about the seating? <laughs> no, no, I'm not talking about it. But <laughs> there was, there was a, hang on, hang on. Like, there was a hundred minutes to the show at least because the show the thing takes a hundred minutes, and you thought, thought of five topics. You thought each topic would take twenty minutes. I actually have a bonus <laughs> sixth topic. All what's right. your what's your All sixth right. topic? You're like, you're like, I have this like, like this this thing on my back. You guys look at it. <laughs> I had, I was short on time, folks. I had, I had a lot of stuff going on. All right, fine. We got a news story. All right? Yeah. If, by the way, if you want to take a piss break, you'll be back in a minute. <laughs> yeah, I guess. All right, let's hear, let's hear a news story. Oh, shot. Our team who really can put Heidi Mon tag to shame. Oh, we're gonna. Really- we're gonna get this all is a mother daughter. Thank you, ABC News, who can't stream their own fucking news stories. Oh, we ship with shot. All right, let's try that again. Team ...who are both using Botox. Now, why is this so shocking? Well, the mom is 49, so okay, she can use Botox. The news? daughter, when she got her first <laughs> injection, was 15 years old. And the kicker is that her mom, who is a trained esthetician, is actually the one who's giving her the Botox. Now, I want to show you what the mom looks like while I rattle <laughs> off all the 150 cosmetic procedures. I'm not going to rattle them all off, but this woman has had close to... She's like, I wish my girlfriend... <laughs> Hundred the, the mom got hundred and fifty procedures done already. 
At oh, this is getting Wait, a of Botox or no, no, no. She gave her daughter face. Botox. She got her own bullshit. Million dollars worth of stuffed under her body. She's had her nose made smaller. Her cheekbones made bigger. Do we? Yeah, there she is. Her cheekbones made bigger. Her breasts lifted. Her the millions of dollars. Can we put right? pictures of Heidi Montag? Millions of dollars. She got a lot of like. And surgeries. she's not that good looking. They uh, they have her picture. And uh, she's not very good looking at all. So you wasted millions of dollars. I you think, pick. You know what? I think as you get as you get older, you should just you should work out more. You should eat healthy, and that should be the extent of you trying to look good. I think this plastic surgery stuff. All right, maybe if you're really rich, you can get maybe like one simple operation. But leave it at that. I mean, have you just, seen along, it? along the same lines? Would you guys watch a porn with the Octomom? Yes. <laughs> I would watch <laughs> now, that along the same lines of anything. <laughs> I would watch a couple seconds just to see how gigantic her well, vagina it says, is. It says mom injects daughter, which could be a name for a porn. Like if if people are like rolling bowling balls into her vagina, I, I would I would pause for a minute to to look at that. Oh my god, we're almost halfway. Shot. Right. Shot. Halfway. Whoop whoop. You know of Octomom, right, Steven? Uh huh. Do you guys in Scotland get Octomom? <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't know. I, I've never seen anybody with the lip injections that look good. I think it looks disgusting on there's everyone. A, yeah, there's a really famous actress. She was in a, a Meg Ryan, Selma Hayek. Meg Ryan, keep going. Me, Meg Ryan keep was going. My, Meg, Mar, Meg Ryan Lopez. used to be my ultimate. I thought she was the hottest ever, and now she, she was looks an entourage. Like shit. You guys yeah. watch Entourage? Meg Ryan was an yeah. entourage. No, no, no. The girl that was an entourage, the blonde. I watched Entourage. She was so pretty before lip injections. That's my whole my whole point. Mm. Now yeah. she looks like a fucking mutant. Most people after plastic surgery look like mutants. Yeah. The, uh, the old, oh, I was going to point out Heidi and, Montag. Yeah. If you look at the picture of her before and after. Oh, wait, wait. Go ahead, go ahead, Stephen. The ugliest woman ever to get injections, Sylvester Stallone's mother. Have you seen the nick of her? Jackie. Shot. Uh, Sylvester Stallone's mother. I don't even know what she looks like. I would do it just because. Go, just Google Jackie Stallone right now. Jackie and Stallone. see this monstrosity. Google Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. Stallone. Um. Yeah. Uh, what were you saying, Heidi Montag? Oh, we hit yeah, yeah. She looks kind of weird. Oh my God. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, Jackie Stallone is a mess. Yeah, you actually, you actually got us there. Oh, oh my God. God. That's that... like an injection. Wow. She looks like Michael Jackson. What does she look like? She looks How like. Do you knock guys on. I want to pee right now. That's so fucker. <laughs> she looks like kind of like um Texas Chainsaw Massacre two. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Heidi. Heidi Montag. She's like. She's like the after picture in the in the victim photos. I didn't know who that was, <laughs> but then my girlfriend put on this show Shut up. where everyone okay. talks well, like I, this. I'm married. I'm married, so I know who Heidi Montag is. Everyone talks like this in every sentence. My, my wife watches the show, and my life was living hell because the basketball playoffs were on, <laughs> but we were watching that. <laughs> That's the hills. I'm if anybody sorry. hasn't seen The Hills, that is what The Hills is. I have a question. Why is why is that entertaining, like, at all? I mean, I have a question. Why, 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 is, reality the same t- why is reality, re- the reality, reality TV ever entertaining? Why is a show with so many hot girls so not entertaining? Because it really is, like, it, like, it, brain cells just leak out of my nose <laughs> while get. I'm watching the show. <laughs> yeah, it, like, the girls are hot. <laughs> Because the show is that bad yeah, it that is. even like, uh, an entire cast of hot girls can't save it. And the show, if the show was like pause, like on your DVR for a half hour, it'd be a better version of the show. <laughs> we should totally go to Vegas. Let's get a drink. Shot. Every sentence is a question. <laughs> Awful. Don't. Well, why do people? That show's popular too. God. What a crock of shit. So I can see why sixty minutes wasn't so bad, and an hour will be. Horrendous. Yeah, that, that's a good point because we're I mean, at, not a hour. I mean, a hundred. Well, we're it's, at fifty-three it's like minutes. That where, where I think that America gets what it deserves because everybody's watching this fucking bullshit and like, getting stupider by the second. And while well, we should watch the news, and there cry are some more. people that some people <laughs> that view it just to make fun, make make fun of it, which I don't even get. I, I don't. I wouldn't even waste my time watching it just to just to laugh at it. What are you talking about? I mean, there's some, there, is, there are some people that watch it ironically, right? Watch what ironically? Uh, reality TV shows. Have you? Is there any reality TV show that you've ever liked? 
I like Biggest Loser. Well, it's not that's, reality, though. That's a little bit... Well, yeah, because they actually are losing the weight. And... I loved... Um, I loved... Who was that? Uh, the Ted Nugent reality show. Uh, it was like Surviving Nugent or something. You had to spend like a week on his ranch, and he would just destroy you. <laughs> until I found out that it was partly fake and then it destroyed me because one of them was like I'm going to floor it on a pickup truck and you have to run like 20 yards and if you don't run fast enough you get hit by the truck and like somebody got hit by the truck and I was like fuck yeah that's so wild he rolled over the hood and shit and I found out it was like a professional stunt man <laughs> that's and it, that's, there was so, another person who that's not even reality with quotes that's just I reality know. with a strike through and then there was another person who um who was like the chef on Fear Factor was like a contestant and I'm like these aren't like you know these are all plants because the show was hilarious people were like you know get he, he didn't have like a chop down a tree with a chainsaw thing and like somebody actually like cut themselves on the chainsaw and had to get rushed to the hospital Shot. and like Shot. it was an awesome show but then I found out it was fake I also kind of liked um show for this for this Century Club thing we're allowed to run to the bathroom and come back right as yeah, long as you can do it within I'm pretty sure seconds. you have to take somebody with you to make sure you're not being sick and cheating. No, no, there are only guys in the room. No, bring your shot with you. <laughs> when we yell shot, you you say, okay. No, you can piss in a minute and come back. And then you can yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you, you can oh, time it. I don't think you can piss in a minute. You have to, you, you have to, you have to you take have, into account it, the traveling there, back. the shaking, which we talked about. The problem is once you break the seal, then you're going to have to go every five minutes. It's on the record, by the way. Mark does not shake. That means he basically does half of his piss in his pants. He uses um, toilet paper to Not like it. half, like two-thirds of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah he holds it with toilet paper. I swear I type it. <laughs> we, so we have ten seconds you can piss. And you have to come back I'm and see. I'm going to say I have to do it now. You, I'm you just can, saying. You can do your shot ten seconds early and then run. It's all right. That's no, true. just do your shot and then run. And then uh, you'll probably still have to do a double shot because once you pay, you're going to pay for like three minutes. I might be the first one to pay. then you have to shake for seven minutes. So <laughs> you're going to have to just chug a beer. <laughs> I'm going to pee at 60 minutes. But there's, there is no breaks, because breaking would be ridiculous. See, you were talking so much shit, like, 15 minutes ago, and now that you have to pee, it's like, well, maybe Jay isn't a woman. Maybe I'm just he, saying, he Jay, just you really... could run like a woman and get to the bathroom, right? May, maybe a five-minute break wasn't the worst idea in the world. Um, it's the worst idea, because I would never resume the show. <laughs> ah, I see. You can't have a five-minute break. You have, to, you have to power through. Puking it's power pissing. hour. It's not power pause hour. Good one. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Brilliant. Is this where things start deteriorating? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, should, we should focus this, on the topic. This, this is the uh, shot. The moment of truth. Oh. Talking like this was the last note on my sheet. Mm. <laughs> now I have nothing. <laughs> so this is where, like, like, let's talk about basketball playoffs. Why can't Steve Nash guard anyone? Think. Yeah, I don't think you like just lost, you just lost all of your female I viewers. By the way, I would love. Oh, like there are female <laughs> viewers, come, and, and it's the show. All the listeners. Surprisingly, most of the emails I get are from females. Um, I what do they say? Like, stop it, Jay. They're like, oh my god, the hill is the hills are totally the best show ever. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make the run. Now. I'm gonna make the run. How do you know that they make right, that, that voice? Him. They're like, Krista was totally preggers. Well done. You missed it when she was totally preggers. How do you know that they're doing that voice when they're sending you emails? I can tell because... Uh, <laughs> they put a question mark at the end of every yeah, sentence. Yeah, yeah. Or, or they just hold down the last button of every sentence. <laughs> I love your show, seven W's. Question mark. Yeah, that's... Uh, oh, wait, Kaplan's gone. Let's talk shit about it. Oh, wait, did oh, we, we miss a shot? Him. Yeah. So, we were usually shot. you do have an intermission in shows. Am I wrong? Usually I do one but every half hour. That's kind of hard to do when, when, you, when you're doing a show like this. We can actually could take... This, could this be the first show that you ever went straight without... <laughs> Sorry, I just had to burp. We could. I don't think anybody would flip out if we took a five-minute breather, but if you guys don't want to, we can... Uh... I can take a five-minute breather. You have trouble opening that door, buddy? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Turn and then pull. That's the way it works. Listen, listen. I've been drinking. <laughs> um... Oh, Where are we at, like 60 shots or something? We're yeah, 50, we're... 59. We're, well, 59 Steve, will be the next Steve, shot. are you still uh, doing shots with us, or are you cheating? No, I'm still doing you really shots. You've done a shot every single time? Don't lie. Uh, pretty much. We'll drop, oh, a, bo- pretty much. We'll drop a bomb in your country. I might you have don't. just missed the last one, but you can't decide whether you missed one or not. Shot, okay, shot. 
Alright. Okay, I'm not gonna miss this or one. Or maybe you did extras. Who knows? Steven, you never emailed me that promo that I wanted to play. Or that did you not I get it? For? I thought I emailed it. What, what email did you send it to? Uh, your um, Brink of Sanity show one. Jay at Brink of Sanity show? Yeah. Is there a uh, yeah, well, there's the brink of sanity at gmail.com. Well, I, I just. Can, like, I, play it through the Skype if you want. I, I check the J at brink of sanity show one like once a week. Although I did check it today. I don't know if I can drop a deuce in the time. Like what <laughs> is. Oh, man. If you took a dump, you would have to do like six shots at once. Man, that'd be fast. I've had to do two in a row. I need at least two minutes. Dude. What? A little less on the rattling here. Calm down, we're drinking. <laughs> okay. I want to see Syl- Sylvester Stallone's mother more. Shot. Shot. I do not want to see her ever again. <laughs> that was horrible. You know, it's still a banger just because she's Sylvester Stallone's mother. Really? Yeah, but could you imagine oh, yeah. if he walked in and caught you fucking his mom? That'd be bad. That would, would be, be real bad. Would you be? Would you weird it out if he wanted just to watch you bang his mom? <laughs> well, by the uh, way, that was that was shot sixty. We are now surpassing power hour. All yes, right, yes, we, we are. Would see the power hour. Which you know what? If we finished here, I would say that wasn't so bad. I feel like I've here, made a difference in the world tonight. It, actually, <laughs> we did. We did. We made a big difference. And you uh, know what? You, is that email from Brand USA Viagra? Viagra? Um, an important email. Yeah, that's all I got, Stephen. I didn't get your. Uh, send it to the the brink of sanity at gmail dot com. Oh, sh- send it right now. Yeah. I can't look at. So uh, I do want to play that because that was good. All right, fuckers, you're not done yet. Is it the, the one that John sings in it? Is that the one? You yes, uh, yes, I like that one. I want to play that one. And then uh, shot. Then John said he he was gonna send me one too, and I didn't get John's. So random ass radio gets no promo play today. I did not wash my hands. All right, well I won't shake your hands. <laughs> to be fair, I leaked on uh, on on. One of the J's when I came back in here. <laughs> I didn't be on my hands either. Brink of Sanity Show.com is the website. I am currently trying to. I, I made a new site and it's all pretty, and for some reason it's just not showing is up. Is it more pretty or prettier? It's more prettiest. <laughs> <laughs> and for some reason, for the life of Where me, I just can't get it online. You should design it in a, in a web design program. I did, and it's it looks really good, and for some reason it won't upload, and I'm getting very angry about it. But you know, that's awful, man. Yeah, that happens. I also have you a. Should, uh, you should tell the uh, Make a Wish Foundation about that story. I wish I had like a programmer. Yeah, you're like, dear people that help cancer survivors. I wish I had a programmer. I can't upload. <laughs> I also need an intern Shot! to push buttons for me because doing a show and pushing buttons is not the easiest thing. Um, do you have trouble doing that, Stephen? You well, sorry. Do you have trouble? Um, Doing pushing a show buttons. and pushing buttons, or am I just a yeah. complete technical yeah. gimp? So here's I the question. I completely lose when I try to read the chat when I'm trying to do can, the show. Uh, yeah, reading the chat. Post is, the show you know, and also do everything you're doing right now. Yeah, if you got to Skype back and, uh, you know, it, it's yeah. just... It's so just I've noticed in movies, they've uh, they've made a new Jason Friday the 13th. They made a new, a new uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Do you think they're going to make a new updated Freddy vs. Jason? Only if the gods shine happily on us. I well, they so. did. I heard. I didn't see it yet. I heard they left on a cliffhanger. Wait, hold on. How many? How many Friday the Thirteenths were there, and how many Jasons were there? I mean, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, how many Nightmare on Elm Streets were there, and how many were? How many Jasons were there? It's like five each, right? And no, still, no, 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 no. It, it was like ten or twelve. Yeah, Friday the Thirteenth went up to like seven or eight before they started. And so uh, now they're combining them and uh, making even more. That's well, cool. and the Nightmare on Elm Street, they did five. Is that a new shot or an old shot? And then they it's did like, Freddy's Dead, Dead, which I guess was six, and then they did New Nightmare. You know what's the worst, part, the worst part of making those movies? It's coming up with the new titles. Like, Freddy's Dead, shitty? and then, like, Freddy's know, New Nightmare, and then, like, uh, he's, back, and then, like, and then, like uh, he's back, and then, like, Freddy Goes West, and they... <laughs> That's my biggest pet peeve, when they, when they fuck up the, the numbering so, of a yeah. series. Because then it gets really confusing. You can't even talk about it. You don't know what the fuck's going on. You know, it's just name it one, two, three. We get it. It's not like we don't know it's a sequel. You're not yeah. fooling anybody. So you know? it should be like Superman Part 20? Yeah. 
Yeah, who who the fuck cares? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you reboot and you well for reboot sixty three. Reboots is or another it, or, pet or have it internally num- uh, named, you know, like they do episodes, like you know, ep- like episodes of uh, of uh, shows. You know, might have a name, but nobody really knows the name. They just know the episode and the season. Are you caught up on Lost yet? So, yeah. So you're saying we should have seasons on shows, like when um... not seasons, but you can have you can have sort of a, you know, you can have a uh, internal. You can have it in, uh, for the for the diehard fan. You can have a list of uh, uh, a list of actual show. Titles. Why does that, that are suck? not just one, two, three, four. My point is that you shouldn't have to have a manual. Uh, no, no, you shouldn't. You don't have to at all. But for the diehard fans who really want, who want to have some name for each show, then you have you have that for them. But it's not the official name at all of the show. I no, mean, no. For the, movie, I mean, I'm sorry, of the movie. No, for movies, it should just be. Yeah, it should be easy should to understand. I, more importantly, why does Lost suck now? I like start like uh, I'm sorry. Steven, are you watching Lost? Yeah. I never. I, I Are never you watched. caught up? Shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we're like two days behind you. Do you do you hate the show? It You're not a true fan. Confuses you the now. fuck out of me. I've watched every single episode and. It just gets more and more. Because the fun. writers are confused. That's I feel problem. like nobody likes it. They're just like, oh, well, we watched it for five years. We have to Steve, finish are now. Are you disagreeing with yeah. us that so he comes back to America? No, he's, 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 he's agreeing. Steven, if I told you, you can come back to America, but you'd have to be my adopted son, would you do it? I have, sorry, I'm breaking up there. What? Oh, sorry. If I told you you can come back to America and say as long as you want, but you'd have to be officially my adopted son, what would you say? Yeah, fuck yeah, let's do it. Okay, I want to adopt you. How old are you? Uh, 28. Can you do, like, the lawn? <laughs> <laughs> are you good at uh, mowing? <laughs> I once went to Mexico, so I guess that lets me be a uh, lawn. Oh, oh, man, you'll be perfect. Shot. 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 And you missed one while you were in the bathroom. Mm-hmm. I took wow. a preemptive shot at preemptive? second 15. Yeah. Who wants to see a video of Tito Ortiz... Is he going to beat up Jenna Jameson? Tito Ortiz was a uh, UFC fighter. I'm saying was because he lost, like... What's a better fight? His... Tito Ortiz versus Jenna Jameson or Chris Brown versus uh, whatever her name is? Rihanna. Rihanna. Well, Chris Brown won, so I'd have to say Chris Brown. <laughs> um, Tito Ortiz was a UFC fighter. And I say was because out of his last four fights, he has three losses and a tie. So I think he's done. Um, he... Uh, you're saying the loser doesn't get to be called a fighter? He beat up Jenna Jameson. Well, no, I'm just saying in this case, if you lose against a woman who's like 40. Did uh, Jenna Jameson provoke him? She well, deserved it. Well, <sighs> I'm just saying. If you don't go down that water top one more time, you're in big trouble. Uh, great. Thank you, for, thank you for the commercial instead of the actual story. Would you guys uh, date a porn star? Um. Date? Barring the no. fact that my wife would so, like it, then yeah, sure. <laughs> Hypoth- date? No. Have sex with a condom? Yes. Wait, wait hang on. What? <laughs> Why wouldn't you date her if you were going to have sex with her? You got past the sex part. She's really hot. Once I have sex with her one like a few times with, say a, she's with a condom. Say she's hotter than any girl you've ever been with, and the sex is better than any girl you've been with. First of all, I don't like girls with breast implants, and every single well, many porn stars have breast well, implants. Say, say we have the all magical right. porn star without breast implants. Then that they would be. Exist? Then maybe I do. Maybe I'd have sex with her ten times instead of five times. But then I would eventually. You would, would what if she had a wonderful personality? And you guys really connected. <laughs> There's no way. It's, it's totally impossible. Why is that impossible? Just constantly <laughs> believe to myself they're, they're that I watched that. <laughs> what would you say? I said I'd just constantly have it in my head that I wasn't satisfying her. Yeah. I couldn't do it. It yeah, it's you. like you've had so many penises. Like you know, you definitely have an inferiority you, complex. Surely mine is not you, the best. Do you guys get yeah. porn in, in, in Scottish Scotland? <laughs> is it Scottish porn? Uh, especially what? since like these these porn stars, they go for like fucking forty minutes. Well, yeah, but you don't know what that. You they're don't know if that's paid, true or not. You, they, they're yeah, they're getting paid. paid. They could they could have jerked off, or they could have yeah, they could have had three orgasms before they started. I don't understand. Like you yeah. have lots of orgasms. before They you have start, sex scenes that are like forty time. minutes long. That's like 40 times for me. Yeah. <laughs> At least. I don't understand. When, when it's my third time, honestly, I can go for a long time. My third or fourth time, if I've just done it in the, in the, in the previous... Uh, Month? Uh, in the previous... <laughs> in the previous <laughs> that's hours, really like... I can go for a long time. No, that's true, but I don't know. It's Still, you gotta my have dick, my some... My dick just feels, starts to feel like it was uh, like 
The Joust, thing is, in, uh, if right. you're dating a girl who's done one of those monsters of cock videos, you're not gonna want to go anywhere near that. Yeah. Uh, some of those guys, it's like fucking. I don't know. It's just not fun to watch. Monsters of cock. What's that? Guys who have like you know foot longs that are like you know it's like a baseball bat. Oh, <laughs> not fun. I thought that'd be clear from the title. <laughs> I just yeah. wanted to hear him say it. <laughs> so I was at the. Uh, the uh, the office party for Monsters of Cock, and I met this girl. I don't know if it's gonna work out or not. <laughs> oh my god, you just shot stand. <laughs> hey, oh, we, I, we guys, have, I think uh, we're gonna make it. I really do. I think we're. Holy shit. When you say we, you're including me. <laughs> we have we have we a hot, only have no. Thirty. More these are the thirty left. fucking worst minutes. They're, yeah, but I'm right. I'm fine. I'm um, not fine at all. Better actually. than I was at the beginning of the show. Actually. Listen, I don't drink that much anymore. I don't even go out that much anymore. I'm yeah, you got married. At all. I'm married. If you got married, this is this is bad news for you. Yeah, man. We I barely fucking drink anymore. I'm not doing well. I, I'm it, like a high school freshman. How are you doing uh, over there, Steve? Yeah, I'm. I'm still going strong. You're not. Um, you're not getting a little concerned. I'm a little bit gassed up, but. I'm trying to. I got He's like here in Scotland. We do this on like a, this is a regular morning activity. This is like brunch. I need to. I do this for breakfast. After then. the show, I'm gonna go home and calculate exactly how many beers we drank, and I'm gonna I'm gonna look up. I'm gonna look up if if a shot is truly. How many one, ounces? Is one point five. One point five. I think. 5? But I think if you, instead, but not if you fill it up, but not so, if you fill it up a normal amount. Sometimes I go to. A, maybe that only means if you fill it up to the very very brim, which we're not doing, of course. All right. Instead sometimes, of, sometimes I go for a run, like in the park, and then I'll go on like Google like. Pedometer and find out how far I ran. You want to do the same thing for drinking? Yeah. Okay. Wanna, make sure. <laughs> well, instead Google of being a to... scientist, why don't you just count the empty cans, dumbass? Um, okay, and then divide. <laughs> wow. By four. Someone, yes. someone, <laughs> <spit snapped him. laughs> shot. Teach. <laughs> <laughs> empty cans divided by four equals how much we drank. Instead of going home with your algorithms. Thank you. You're right. Besides, by the time you get home, you're, you're more smart than me. <laughs> Which is proper. <laughs> that actually is proper. Not more smarter. More smarter. Uh, actually, Zach has a book that's you been published. Book? Yeah, mathactivities.net. For really? those of you who want yeah. to check it out. What's it about? It is uh, a book of math lessons for visual and kinesthetic learners. It is a... Uh, Sam Kinison learners. Kinesthetic. Kinesthetic means... Uh, uh, thank you. Are thank you for People will learn through, uh, through doing. Are through, there, any, through sex, are there any sex scenes? <laughs> there are no sex scenes in my Shut book your for books. elementary school students. Your book <laughs> People have but sexy learnings. very clear about that. So, I'm just saying 68 plus 1 equals a good time. What you're saying is you didn't video when you had sex with elementary school kids. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I'm saying when I was videoing the kids, I didn't have sex with them. I have a question for you. If a, if a, if a uh, elementary school kid came on to you, but she was really hot, would you do her? Um, no. What, what, no, I'm saying like really hot. Like hotter than any girl. <laughs> like, well, like, all right, what's the oldest elementary school kid? Well, like, let's six, say, sometimes let's elementary school goes up to sixth grade. Let's say she looks... So you can talk about a 12-year-old. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Or maybe let's, a 13-year-old. Let's say she looks really mature for her age, but she's like seven. <laughs> Are you trying to ruin everything that I've worked for? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have a beer. He's going to say no. There's a beer right here. Stop. That's. You don't like that at all. I can't, I, I can't believe I threw a shot again. Oh. Shot. Did we finish all the entire cooler? Someone filled this shot glass up to the very brim. Well, then that makes up for the <laughs> lower the lower poured ones from before. Oh, my God. And I spilt it all over myself as a result. I have nothing else to say. You can want to check the Met score online? Mm. Why do you check the Met score? No. What Just, we're going to do is we're going to take a five-minute break. No, no, no. We're not taking a five-minute break. Yes, we're going to take no, a... No, no five-minute break. I don't think we should take a five-minute break this no, close to No, either the you end. do the shot, you, you do it or you don't do it. No five-minute breaks. I, I, I want to put on my resume that I finished Power Hour. Yeah, I don't want to say I wanted to do a Pussy Power Hour. No, no, no. no. Power <laughs> Hour Century Club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A pussy, pussy Century Club. I don't want to say I did a Homo Century Club where I took it to the ass for like, like five minutes. <laughs> All right, well, then, uh, you know, you guys take another minute or two to talk about something while I pull up the stories that... Uh, I had in my emails. It's really good. If you want to take a break, I'll take a break. I mean, maybe we could we could lie and say we kept doing power hour even when the mic was mic was off. Except that we just recorded that. <laughs> <laughs> now our credibility is uh, totally shot. Rihanna falls on stage. Shot. 
I have this guy who sends me um, sends me stories that he thinks would be funny to talk about on the show. So we'll we'll see if these stories are funny to talk about on the show. Which uh, brinkofsanityshow dot com is where you, you can get all your um, anything you need for the brink of sanity. The problem is, I'm still having trouble. I've been trying to upload the show the entire Good episode. Girl, that is my model ex roommate. And who is supposed to be on the new website, but for some reason is not. That's a really hot model. She's reluctantly being your model right there. <laughs> okay. So Okay, we're recording. So Jay fucked up last I did minutes not of... fuck up. What do you mean you didn't fuck up <laughs> last minutes to record? The what? computer fucked up. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. You you didn't fuck up, the computer fucked up that you're operating. Yes. Okay, perfect Correct. perfect sense. Anyway. Um, anyhow, we... so we finished the hundred minutes. We all did an amazing job. We all did backflips. It was fantastic. The Olympics. We all recorded. survived. Somehow, the last fifty minutes didn't record. Jay and Zach had gay sex. Anyhow, going on to the show. <laughs> we did, we just wanted to <laughs> wrap it up proper. It was like Jay's and Zach, by the way. Oh, okay. Jay's. Zach feels better if I use the plural of, his, of Jay's name because gay sex is better. Because there are two Jay's. I just want to make sure that you, you know. That you you want to know is a threesome. <laughs> Anyhow, um, going. Going forward in the show, the Mets rock. They're winning eight one. Oh, That's good. Awesome. That's oh, great. Shit. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that happened. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> thank you, Stephen Cliff, for coming on. on the show. Let's talk about something, fun, something interesting. Um, so, Zach, tell me about your dating life. Oh, I was saying something interesting before. I, I know you were before I said, but I forgot what it was. Sorry. I Jay, can't. tell me about the time you got you got blown by two women and you got robbed. Jay. Oh me! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're Jay. Uh, you're no, Zach. You're Jay. <laughs> We're playing this ourselves is, this today. Is a totally on the true show. story. Mm-hmm. Oh, by the way, we we drank a hundred shots of beer. Shot. And we have we the last shot right here. Here cheers, we go. Hundredth shot. Cheers. Hundredth shot. Hundredth. Hundredth shot again because we did it about a half hour ago. It's a very yeah, aggressive way to drink, and I'm very happy about it. Yeah. I'm glad we're not drinking anymore. So Zach, tell me about some dates you've been set up on. Well, the- there's uh, two dating sites that I'm uh, Which a member ones? of. One is a free da- site, and one is a Which, uh, what, what one is a free site, and Match. one is a uh, uh, pay site. What's the site the called? Pay site is Match.com, and the free site is OkCupid. Tell me about the most recent Match.com date. I have started to sw- swear off uh, OK, uh, Match.com and move towards OkCupid. Okay, that doesn't tell me much about the date. So the date, the date was from <laughs> OkCupid. And we went to a uh, country bar. Obviously, I chose it. What's the country bar? Uh, Hill Country Barbecue. They don't near the Flatiron Building. Oh, I've it, been there. The food's not that as good as it's. Well, it's a barbecue. I like the music downstairs. There's there. a stage. There's a stage downstairs. Um, and we went there, and then I invited her to um, meet my friends around the corner, and that was a big plus for her because she was w- totally weirded out by. The you? online dating thing. No, not by me. <laughs> this is by the very fact that we had met. Sure, but, you know, there's some people that are very uh, insecure. She's about like, that. "Oh my god, I met you on online dating." You're like, "You participated too." What the fuck? Why are you weirded out by it? It's like she, a, he was weirded. It's like walking into a strip club and seeing. I suppose I posted three a.m. and we must like less weird. <laughs> well, well, grandchildren, we met when we were fucking at three a.m. I couldn't find anyone, then I saw your grandmother. Girls are obsessed with the story as to how they met their. Their married other or their significant so, other. So, so at three, so I'm sorry, not three a.m. Sorry, Hill Country Bar. So took her we, out. I, and I, what I was? Took her out. Was she attractive? I thought it was she, she was attractive. Yeah, she looked even better in pictures than in um, than in real life. She still looked good <laughs> in real life. Oh, okay, she was okay. one of those, some people. You uh, were some like people, some people. Oh, are the oh, oh. <laughs> You don't look as good, She's good in person. She's definitely but... not listening to this episode. Yeah, why? <laughs> we don't have listeners. She, like, <laughs> not a profile. So you basically, you saw her in person, you were like, oh, you're not quite quite the real thing, but eh, I haven't jerked off in a while. <laughs> Actually, I, I was attracted to her. I was attracted to her. Okay, good. So, so, so that's all that matters. So what happened, first date, which you guys went to dinner. What you We order? didn't even have to go to dinner. We went to a place where most people are eating. Oh, dinner, you didn't but... even eat. We did not eat. We well, just had drinks and listened, to the, and listened to the music. She had two beers and I had two bourbons. Oh, she's a beer drinker, huh? Actually, I had, I had two bourbons and, and two beers. So How do you I, feel I was, about dating a beer drinker? I love it. I like how, it how, how tall is she? She's about 5'6". Uh, Ooh, big girl. How, 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 how big, big girl? Big. Because your wife is like four feet, four, four and a half I feet know, tall. Is that your height? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um... 
Sorry, you're not there. No, no, yeah. Um, okay, so so moving on. Are you guys going to go on this? Okay, sorry. We're, uh, okay, no, 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 before we get that. But we agreed to another date Bef- via email. Before so we get to that. There's been, no, there's been what very was, minimal. What was the date? Uh, phone. What was the date? So we had the, we had the date at the, uh, at the Hill no, Country when, Barbecue. When? It was last Friday. So, okay, so uh, at, weekend, at, one, weekend, at exactly the, a week ago. I have a question. At the end of the day, you guys leave Hill Country Barbecue. What do you guys do? Well, during Pine Country Barbecue, um, I, I got a text message from my roommate, who uh, fortunately was uh, having a night of her own, but she's not, you know, with you friends. You got a text on hand, stop, stop. And she was You got a text me. on your date from another female, and you responded, and you said, let's go hang out with this other female? This other female, I have That's no, a I terrible no, idea. I have no... Uh, well, I do have sexual interest in her, but whatever. I, oh, you do? <laughs> Tell me about your friend. No, I don't. I, no, 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 no. She's, Tell me about your friend. What's your friend look like? She's German. She's a German scientist. Ooh, German. How tall is she? She's I'm very serious. tall. She's like uh, five ten. Sika. She's about a, a, a big B, like a Ooh, large B. Big B. Yeah. Thin. Very thin. Very thin. Ooh. Very Ooh. tall. A tall, thin, blonde. If she, if she said, if she said any way you wanted, would you bend her over the table? Anyway, going on. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so okay, um, so this so other girl, this other, other girl, you were friend, like, you were like, friend, hey, my friend I got, I, I got a text from this girl. I want to fuck. Do you, do you want to come with me? I did not. That was not the thing. <laughs> come. In. I was more into the girl that I was with. So we went and met up with her, and she and my girl. So wait, I have a question. Hang on, stop. If you could fuck one of them, would it be? And let's say we leave the love thing everlasting and long love and whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Would it be the girl, that, the German girl, or the girl you're Like, I fuck it only one, one time? For ever? the rest of, yeah, yeah. Like, wait. The last girl Wait, fuck. only fuck her once, or fuck her for the rest of the life, or the rest of my life? Who the fuck cares? <laughs> no, same, same difference. difference. Okay, okay. There's a difference. You can fuck her once and your penis falls off. <laughs> fuck her once and her penis falls off? Yeah. I think I'd... But your penis is gonna fall off anyhow. <laughs> I think I'd be, I think it doesn't even matter. So I would just go for the, uh, I would go for the girl that I just met. Okay, well, like, where your penis is going to stay on forever, you're going to fuck her for the rest of your life. And she's going to marry you. It's a different question entirely. Uh, it's, you're right. It's, it's too much of a hypothetical. And I don't I care what it's fucking. Sorry. She's not, she's not Hypotheticals, listening. once you get too ne- deep into them, they don't mean anything. I'm not asking you to fuck Cameron Diaz. I'm asking about the girl you're you holding this thing for you. I don't know. I'm asking about Cameron. I'm not asking about Cameron question. Diaz. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking about the girl you know. That you friends with that you, that you like you lust for, and I'm asking you about the girl that you just met you lust for. Which girl would you rather have a long term relationship with? Mm, I mean, Honestly. I know what you're getting at. I know what you're getting at, and I'll answer the way you want me to answer. I mean, yeah, obviously the girl that I'll uh, that I that I've lusted for. Okay, for nice, more. fantastic. Jay, are you even <laughs> on the show anymore? <laughs> no, I'm done. Okay, are yeah. we recording? Yeah, we're recording. Fantastic. Um, <laughs> that's cool. Hey, um, do you guys, uh, are we going to go out? Yeah, uh, hell's yeah. I'll wait till it's done, I'm sorry. sorry. Hell's yeah. Well, well I mean, we should winning. probably end it, you know? Uh, how much more time do we have left before we get to leave? This is... We're done. Okay, so, what, we're done? We're done. Are we, are we, are you canceling it? Wait, no. hang on, hang on, hang on. Sto. Um, <laughs> not to use your last name. That's not Jay. my, that's not my name. Jay, <laughs> are you, are you banging any girls? Okay, anyway, go back to your girl. Um, Zach, so, um. <laughs> it's always more interesting. Dude. It's much more interesting. So well, he's okay, not married. I was gonna my say. Question, my question is, at the end of the he day... He should have interesting Here's my question. Too. end of the day, you go to meet with your friend. Yeah. And what happens afterwards? Wait, what, what, how is the goodbye process? That's my question. Well, there hey, was this weird, there's, is this off? Uh, uh, is this still recording? Yeah, it's recording. Uh, the oh, goodbye it process. Recording? How does the goodbye process work? Well, I, I was... I got, not I, got, I got really hammered. First of all, remember, we were at this... Uh, we were at this... Uh, this... Uh, uh, Hill Country Barbecue, and they had lots of uh, uh, bourbon... I'm a big I'm a big bourbon fan, so I had. Oh, I forgot you're a big bourbon fan. <laughs> and so they had all different kinds of bourbon, all from Bourbon, Kentucky County, and uh, uh, major county there. And they, <laughs> and uh, so I had a few few too many. Bourbons. So you're wasted. So anyway, I was wasted. Happened. That was that was. The I, I, get, I, get, I get it. I get it. I get it. That's the story. I get it. You're not. And so- I and then we went to this other place and met up with my friends. And I just suddenly just felt like I was going to reach in and kiss her, like. We were just, we were just kind of standing. You had that we moment where you're like, you're like, I'm drunk. She must well, fucking, she must be feeling the same exact thing. I bet she thing. wasn't. Having. I'm usually. That, I bet she my, wasn't anal also. My fatal flaw <laughs> in past dates has been that I was not aggressive enough. I've, I've lost. That. Wait, wait, I've wait. lost dates hey, stop, because, stop, stop, because I didn't make the first date. You I didn't make the, the first move. Zone. Wait, wait. I entered the friend zone. Entered the friend zone. So now I sometimes I overcompensate and I just. So you rape her. 
<laughs> so I have a question. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, high five. Um, what did you do? How do you overcompensate? You held her down? What did you do? <laughs> I just I just reach in. I just reach in for the kiss at really random moments. I, I feel like that's like... So- I do that too. Like, uh, I, I feel like at times I've been... I, just, un- it, I look at her, I'm like, I'm attracted to you, I'm drunk, and I'm not going to have what happened. It used to happen to me, so... No, I feel like... I, I agree with you. I feel like at times in the past, many, many, many years ago, I was unaggressive. I should have been more aggressive. I hope I never get in this situation again where I have to do that again. But um, I understand what you're saying. Right, right. It's, uh... I don't know. It, the, Wait, the, so, the, so, the, the, so, so, so girls like, girls so, like, this is what girls so, like. I'll tell you what girls like. They like, uh, they like aggressive they like nice Pitt, guys. not you, Matthew McConaughey. Aggressive nice guys, whatever that means. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey, seriously? You're the worst. He's shirt. the biggest douchebag <laughs> I've ever um, seen in my life. No, 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 more importantly. So the date ends, you're like, she gets in a cab and goes home? She, no, the date does the thing is I did that thing. How did, I did it I did, end? I did I did the reach reach around kiss in like you a really awkward moment. So I clearly wasn't the end of the date. Wait, but it was it was, it was pretty late at the night. What so point she of the date did you do it? It was very close to the end because and about you reached 20, around about 30 and you grabbed her <laughs> French kiss. Or I said the reach around meaning the reach around kiss, not a okay, reach around. Okay, you reached around her. Grab her shoulders. Re- no, I just sort of reached around and just gave her. Like, okay, is it is like a French kiss? I took her I took her cheek and kind of moved it towards. Are our tongues touching? No. Okay, so it was more of a kiss on the lips. Yes. So kind of like you're in high school. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so you had the high school kiss with her, and then what'd she say? Nothing. Nothing. She was like, oh my god. it was god. loud. I've been wowed. I, 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 it's like I'm, I'm like a re-virgin. It was just like, it was just, I don't know. Was, I did the same thing I think, too. I think, she just, I think she just noted it down in her book, and, and, and then she's going to go home, she's gonna go home and, and, give me a, and give me a... a, a, a um, how did they a, end? A, a report card. How did they end? Can you hold my books for me? <laughs> the day ended and her, and about, about three. twenty minutes later. She said, "I'm I'm tired. I have to go home." And then you give her a kiss at that and point. Then I then I gave her a kiss, but this time I gave her a kiss on the cheek. That was money. That she was probably like nice. The lips. <laughs> <laughs> so when's the next date? It's like Thursday, we'll right? It, the next date. When do you is... call? Hang on, stop, stop. When do you call her? I don't call. I, I don't. I, I don't. I don't. What? How do you communicate <clears> with her? I on email and on uh, text message. Oh, because you can't. At this you, point, you can't call at this her? point. I'm just. Uh, Why don't you call her? Well, like just like a really fast call. I think it's. I think it's weird to have like a long conversation on the phone at this point. It's so fucking weird. I hate. The generations the have changed. Like it used to be like you no, fucking no, but, called. But you have to realize how how how. I how call my fucking wife after I fucking listen, first met her. Well, of course, your wife. How, listen, no, no, listen. my first met her when she was first dating her. I called her. It was before the text messages took over. You called her after you first banged her. Absolutely. I was like, hey, how'd you like that? Yeah, you like that. She's <laughs> <laughs> pretty fucking awesome. I'm glad your wife is not going to listen to this, uh, uh, this yeah. either. She didn't, even, she didn't know how to use technology. She didn't even know what a podcast is. Dude, that's why you're married. I was texting her. I was like, X-Men. best ever. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to get this text. You're going to use text message. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I'll have to do some post editing. So, my, so you, uh, at the end of the day, you give her a kiss on the cheek and you say to her, hey, maybe we'll hang out again. I just say um, I'll see you soon or something really really short like that. And when do you give her a call, or when do you, uh, when do you, when you shoot her a uh, I wrote, when do you send her, I wrote her an email the next the next day. What uh, did you send an email? I said something sort of summary about uh, about like, about the night. Date went some, something something sum, something sort of that summarized. Some date went well. Here's the funny thought about lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, and then I tried to throw in something that was funny. Like what was, was it funny? It, what did you find funny? I don't remember. Please, come on, tell us. Please. I don't remember. I don't <laughs> you know it was cheesy. Come on, tell us. It was, I'm sure it was cheesy. You're, you're like, oh, I that was, was funny about the squirrels jumping on the uh, Well, it was funny sticks. the second. I, I, there's this whole part of the story that I had left out. Oh, please tell me. This is the Now we're getting good. <laughs> so it's it's not, actually, it's not as interesting. It, it, but it's whatever. Uh, the second stuff. place we went to was a, a had a, had a uh, mechanical bull. Oh yeah, man, a mechanical bull. Did you ride the mechanical bull? No, no one, no one, no, no one rode the mechanical really cool. bull except for people I didn't know. But w- the people that Damn. were riding Damn. the mechanical bull. Oh, right there. Were nine one. Look each other. Fucking nine one. Whoa, 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 what? Whoa, what happened? Whoa, hang on a second. This is called Johnny Utah's. It's on the. I've been there before. You've been there? Yeah, I like that place. It's in like Midtown kind of. So you fucking, we're it. all from Manhattan. What the hell? Oh, okay. <laughs> Not from there. So they, yeah, it was. Uh, so I made some jokes about, like kind of, about Johnny Utah's or something. Two nothing. Fuck him. I feel weird. Um, so, you're at Utah's, 
some people went on the on the mechanical ball, mm-hmm. and they be, they they started sixty nine right afterwards. Well, no, no, they they started making out on the mechanical ball, and that was actually and you were when, like, when that was going like, when were, that was going you on. Tapped, you tapped me on the shoulder like, let's try that, let's try that. <laughs> I think they're doing it. We can do it also. No. We're not even on the mechanical ball. <laughs> <we're> <laughs> not, I'm so can make out with your face. Just trying to hang out, trying to hang out, motherfucker. When that was going on, I thought I would. I thought that was a romantic moment. <laughs> Jay, is anyone paying five dollars a month for this content? Yes, so many. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so the, the people are riding the bull. You're looking at the bull. You're like, I could ride you. And what'd she say? <laughs> I didn't say that. Okay, you use some you're words. words in my mouth. I'll use some some equivalents. Okay, <laughs> what? So what did she say from there? She's like, yeah, she, I can buck your bronco. She's like, yeah. I didn't say anything. She's like, I'll I'll dig my spurs in. Are you are you, are you, are you dang a mute? What does she do? What's her story? Uh, she, I don't know, she's a student. What, what I'm actually gonna stop talking about it. I think we should end the show now. She doesn't <laughs> fucking listen. She doesn't listen. So what? What? What do you? So you called her. You texted her. You emailed her next day. She what I'm curious about is is like the the sort of like how do you end a match.com date? I've only been on one, and so it's like a little awkward. I wasn't really sure what to say. I'll respond to you on your fucking email. Um, so what? What? Ha- so she responds to your email. Yep. What she say? Right she said we'll we'll hang out again soon. Uh, she's away this weekend. Oh, where is she? Uh, in uh, I, I don't uh, want to be with you, Loserville. <laughs> 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 no, she's actually at a wedding in Pennsylvania. That's what they said. She was taking a long oh, weekend. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of marriages have a wedding in Pennsylvania. Listen, maybe weekend. you guys lost out it's on a lot of good opportunities because that's what you yeah, thought when they told you that. Um, <laughs> Listen, so, I, think it's, I think it's perfect timing that they're that so a little email, bit of space right, right email on the Sunday day. right Saturday Saturday I hung out on Friday and it was Saturday but you emailed on Saturday was yeah. last, so since then have you emailed or text or anything no not really so you're hoping uh, when are you going to email or text or text alright maybe maybe you're alright maybe maybe she won't uh, respond maybe she, I'm not saying she won't I'm just saying like she's probably like Wow, this ballless loser who I went out with, <laughs> like the first, won't fucking call me or email me like since that time. Listen, not all my, not all of my experiences are like your experiences. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not saying they are or not. I'm just being putting the spotlight on you because it's more fun that way. Don't put the spotlight on me. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> are we still on the air? Yeah, we're done. Okay, we're done. Thank you for listening I'm to the hundredth episode. <laughs> no, actually, it was fun. All right, we're done. Okay, cool. Bye.